So in every doll, there's this thing called underruns, which is responsible for that <laughs> cracking, nasty poo-poo sound when your computer is being overwhelmed with too much stuff to process, and FL Studios is no exception. The majority of the time, we can easily fix this by going up to Options, clicking on Audio Settings, and then making your buffer length longer. But as you can see, there's a point where the buffer length can't go past 2,048 samples or around 40 milliseconds. And there's a good reason for that. That's because there is a diminishing return for making your buffer length longer. I have a graph that I'll put up from FL Studio's website that shows this, but basically once you go past 47 milliseconds in buffer length, it offers no benefit to your computer's performance, and it can even make things worse. That's why the cutoff is at 2,048 samples. So what happens if you pulled your buffer length all the way to the max, and on top of that, you have a pretty large project file with uh, quite a few instruments, and it's pretty difficult to find exactly what the culprit is that's causing your computer to go crazy? Well, I got you. What you want to do is go up to the top here on the CPU monitor, this thing right here, double click this box, and what it brings up is the plugin performance monitor. And what this does, it's super useful. It lists every plugin, VST, or effect that you have loaded in your project, and it organizes them in a hierarchy based on what is taxing your CPU the most. And so you can even freeze this list. So like to hone in on those trouble areas, I'm gonna freeze it right about there. And if you see here on Guitar 4, this delay separator is using a ton of CPU. So if I go over to my mixer and I go ahead and find the Guitar 4, you'll see, look, it's completely muted. And while there is no sound coming out of this track, the audio is still being processed through this entire effects chain. If you see right there, that's the delay separator. From here, we can bypass this plugin by itself by clicking this, or we can turn off the effects for this entire track by pressing this button right here. And if we now go back into the performance monitor, we should see that the delay separator is completely gone. And now my project should play without any hiccups. Yep, anyways, super useful to know about this, especially if you're working on a large project. Hope this helps.